The overlay tab within the graph section of a patient's profile is brilliant for layering up multiple days of data to get great insights into how patient lifestyle factors affect their control. First of all, we want to select the time period from the drop down. We can select anything from one week to 90 days or even a custom time period. Once we've done this, we can look at the graphs below. We have the choice between spaghetti graph or an AGP, an ambulatory glucose profile. Starting with a spaghetti graph, you'll see that on the days of the week row, we actually have small graphs which summarize what the data looks like for each of these days. And then in the larger graph below, we have our selection above aggregated here. You'll see it's quite busy to start with, so we're going to want to select the days that we want to focus on. For instance, if we're looking at high peaks within this control, we can see that we have a green and a red line. Now that corresponds to our Tuesdays and Fridays. Here we have now isolated those peaks, and we can see that this peak here is actually on Tuesday, the 15th of June, whereas this peak here, represented in pink, is on Friday, the 11th of June. And for both of those peaks, however, the patient decided to manage those brought the blood glucose down within the target range. This would be an example of good management. And this might be something that a healthcare professional would want to encourage and discuss with their patient. Alternatively, you could click onto the AGP section. After doing this, you can see that the AGP is adjusted specifically to cover these two days. And you can see how the variation of results around the median looks both before and after the peak. If we wanted to deselect that, we could get the AGP for this entire two week period. Or we can even isolate specific time periods, for instance, weekends, or even the working week, which can be difficult for patients to manage. After we've done that, we can scroll down and look at the metrics below. You'll see how these adjust depending on the days that we have selected. As with other areas in gluco, the glucose values are broken down into very low to very high brackets. And those brackets are again defined below. We can also see the percentage of time that the CGM was active within the days that we have selected above. As we select more data, these figures will adjust. Therefore, we can see that for instance, when we select the weekends, the CGM has not been as active as during the week. And that might be something that a healthcare professional would want to address.